The refurbishments in the area have seen debris and foliage cleared from Royal Anglian Way and Brook Battery, with balustrades, benches and signs added. Now, however, an entirely new installation has been unveiled, the completed suspension bridge, visible from town for some time and now open to the public. Well, it was exciting. It doesn't move quite as much as you think it's going to. It's not like a rope bridge, but it does move, and therefore you do realise you're on a suspension bridge. But it's a real thrill, and I encourage everybody to come and do it. Even scared people like, like me who don't like these sorts of thrills. Yeah, I'm not the most adventurous, but I've really, really enjoyed it, and it feels very safe indeed. One of the main challenges that we found here is that how do you design something of, of this nature in an area which is so beautiful. The, 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 the challenges are significant. It's, it's the logistical ones, which is one we have to contend with, but then there's also how does it integrate into the landscape. So how do you build a structure which is so tall, so wide, within a nature reserve where, where it can very easily stand out as a, as a, thorse, a sore thumb. The suspension bridge is designed to be as unobtrusive and organic as possible, following the pre-existing path and keeping below the tree line. 71 metres of semi-rigid bridge with foundations fixed deep into the rock. It's taken over a year from design through construction. But those involved in the project say it's been worth it. The views from the upper rock are always spectacular for visitors and Gibraltarians alike. But this is something new, a chance to walk through the air over Gibraltar 250 metres above sea level. With a top of the rock glass skywalk yet to come and the ongoing restoration of the northern defences, the bridge is just part of a wider programme. For 16 years this area has not been invested. You couldn't even do the old Royal Anglian way that many of us would remember from the days before the frontier was closed. We're investing and revitalising by creating assets like this new bridge. This has cost money, it's an investment, but it's the right investment in ensuring that the upper rock really shines as the asset that it is. But so far the reaction has been very positive. It's been the, the comments which I've seen is that it is a, an asset. It is not a blotch on the landscape. It actually works quite well. Um, I myself, I think that it's probably true. The, 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 the use of materials, the cotton steel which makes it blend in, um, using what is the, the, the tensile wire which is very thin so it doesn't provide with a screen. Um, and it works very well with the whole um, concept that we have in the upper rock of, of this rebranding of, of using the same types of furniture. So that I think it also works very well. The newest feature in the Upper Rock Nature Reserve, the suspension bridge is free to use and can be accessed via Royal Anglian Way or via a path leading down from the Queen's Lookout.